Okay, great. What I'd like to do now is take everyone through our webinar and share some PowerPoint uh, PowerPoint presentation with you that really talks about Minerva Place, where we're going together as a team uh, with Minerva Place. And I think you're going to find this really quite exciting because what you're going to see is innovation. And that's really what this first slide represents here. We look at Henry Ford, uh, you know, his quote, I just love this quote, if I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. And you look at the innovation, not only that uh, Henry Ford brought uh, in terms of the automobile, but the ability to mass produce the automobile and make it affordable for the masses. That was major, major innovation. And that's what we're doing here. How are we doing it? We're taking two distinct, very successful business models. Online community marketing, we're all very familiar with the major internet brands today. You know, the challenge with that business model all by itself is it's a very costly proposition. It takes hundreds of millions of dollars to launch a company in the, uh, in the online community. The, the growth initially is slow. Think Amazon. Go back a decade. Think of companies like Amazon, slow startups, but boy, unlimited growth potential. I mean, the sky's the limit. There's just no caps whatsoever on an internet type of business model. Uh, but they're high risk for, for many, many reasons. Then we look at network marketing. Network marketing is a reduced cost ramp up business model. We have fast growth in this industry, but generally it's limited, limited growth potential. And again, it's also high risk all by itself. But something happens when you fuse these two industries together. You have reduced cost ramp up, you have a reduced risk model, and you have great growth potential. The growth potential is unlimited. And by doing that, what we do is we create a new paradigm. Now we all know that network marketing is the best way to build community. We've all done it. We've been in the industry for many, many years. All the people that are here by special invitation tonight are getting a preview of what's coming together with MinervaPlace.com, but you're here because you've been successful building in, in, in this industry. And we all know it's the best way to build community. We also know it's a very, very profitable business model. That's why the likes of people like Warren Buffett uh, get involved with the with the industry. Richard Branson involved with the industry. It's a great business model. But guess what? It's got some limitations, as we all know. Again, we love the industry. We're passionate about the industry, but it has limitations. So as we were developing this business model, we said, let's look at those limitations. Let's look at how we can overcome those limitations, because if we can, we can innovate in the industry. And again, what I'm about to share with you, it's from a love and a passion of enjoying the industry, but also knowing that it's time for change. It's time for innovation in our industry. And that's exactly what we have here. Let's look at the challenges that we all face, what we call flaws, the seven deadly flaws, if you will. Flaw number one is that we're usually tied to a product in the industry, and a lot of times we have to kind of push legal compliance with those products, and sometimes they don't deliver quite as promised, but the real challenge is, is that sometimes products can become a toxic asset. Think of Fedra, for example. You know, someone gets sick, or the FDA challenges it, or maybe the FTC doesn't like the way that we're selling it. The other problem with, with uh, in flaw number one is that when we do have a product that becomes very, very successful and we're building a very large organization, we're building a great check, what happens? All of a sudden we walk, wake up on a Saturday morning, we take our family, we walk down the aisle of a Walmart, a big box store, and we see a pallet full of uh, a like knockoff type of product for half the price or a quarter of the price. The next challenge that we have in the industry is that because it's a very profitable industry, we see a lot of people come into the industry that uh, really they're just driven by two things, ego and greed. They don't understand the business. They haven't been in the field. They haven't built from the, from the bottom up an organization. They have not a clue uh, the, the time and the effort uh, that goes into building a business. So it's a challenge. The other challenge we face in the industry is that it's really tough for companies that are product driven to expand internationally. There's a lot of compliance that has to take place, and that compliance can take a lot of time, so it's very costly, and it's very time-consuming for companies to expand. The other flaw that we face in the industry is that we rely on non-professionals to sell, and even after someone becomes a distributor and they're upselling into customers, we're trying to teach them how to take their customers and turn them into distributors. That's not an organic upsell. That's a very challenging upsell. There's a lot of friction in that upsell process, as we all know, and that's why conversion percentages are very, very low. An organic upsell is you go into uh, your favorite store, let's say it's a men's clothing or women's 
store, clothing store, you buy a suit and the salesperson comes back to you and says, hey, you know, this is a great shirt. It would look perfect with that suit. Oh, here's a tie. This tie would be perfect with that suit. That's an organic upsell. It's a very natural organic upsell. The other flaw that we face is that you can go and pack a Holiday Inn or any type of a banquet room with 100 people and on a good day you might have 30% that join you in the business opportunity which is a great great percentage but what about the 70 who said no? There's really no follow-up process. There's no way to come back and convert people that have been to that meeting. It rarely happens in our industry. The other challenge we face is that when sales start falling off we realize that it's what we need are line extensions. We need new products in order to build that volume back up. And so what does that do? That, that opens up all the risks that we just looked at that were associated with flaw number one and launching a new product. And flaw number seven, the last, we don't get compensated to the growth of the company on an immediate and ongoing sliding scale. Sure, we're able to make good money. Uh, we're, the compensation plans are certainly fair throughout the, the industry, but there's something missing in that compensation to us. And we've overcome these seven flaws. I want to show you how. And in overcoming these seven flaws, we've created innovation, an innovation in an industry that we love and appreciate in a major way. Imagine being involved with a direct marketing company that's associated with no product, never asks you to sell a product, yet you profit from the sale of hundreds of products. Imagine a company that doesn't involve a two-step conversion process. So someone who's very busy with their primary career uh, is going to be very successful here without making phone calls, without a single conversation with anyone. Imagine a company that's surrounded with famous physicians, health professionals, celebrities. These people are all eager to play, play an active role in what we're doing with our members and for the company. And imagine a company which aggressively for you captures 30 percent of your lost leads and upsells 30 percent of your customers. And imagine a, a business model that's really all about innovation. This is an affiliate model that changes constantly. You expect it to change. You expect everything about it to change. It grows and evolves every single day. It never runs its course or runs out of steam. We don't tangle with the FDA. We don't tangle with the FTC. We don't get bad press. We're not even called an MLM. We're a marketing model which members are very proud to join, very eager to recommend to their friends and family. And we're rewarded for the for the contribution that we make to the company, no matter how large or how small our contribution is, we're rewarded equally through an innovative compensation structure. Meet the future. Meet Minerva Place. So you're wondering, and I want to share with everyone on the line because you're very special in terms of this is a VIP introduction. Obviously, we're not even into a pre-enrollment process yet, so you've been invited to get an early preview, kind of insider information, if you will, on what we're doing and where we're going uh, with this business model. And so a lot of people ask us, well, how did you come up with Minerva? And how did you come up with Minerva Place? What's the thinking uh, behind this? And this isn't something that we're going to share on an ongoing basis with a lot of people, but because you're, you're discovering us early on, we thought maybe we should share it with you. And you can see that we have a very unique and distinctive logo. Place is because we're a destination. And I'll show you in a minute how we're going to become a primary desti destination, a premier destination. Minerva was uh, known for wisdom, healing, and medicine. And Minerva, a Roman goddess, also had a pet owl. And so when we started to design our logo and destination, obviously it made sense to, uh, to use the name Minerva, uh, as she's a classic symbol for wisdom and healing. But when you look at the face of an owl of her pet, what do you see? If you look very closely at the face of that owl, as our designers and creative team explained to us, you see a heart. And out of that heart came the face of the owl. And that logo is an owl, and it is winking at you. So now you have a little uh, insight into how we came up with the logo. It's kind of like Starbucks. Not too many people know how Starbucks ever came up with their logo. It's kind of a mystery. We want this to be the mystery. We want this to be fun. And it's our goal to be, number one, a premier online destination. What's a premier online destination? Well, let's look at that, because there's a lot of destinations. But what's a premier online destination? Well, word association, books, you think Amazon.com. Travel, you think Travelocity or Expedia, one of the big travel sites. Medical, just about all of us think WebMD. Classifieds, Craigslist. 
diet and health. There's a couple dozen sites out there, but there is not one premier online destination. We see that as a huge opportunity for all of us. $237 billion industry with no primary online destination until now. We estimate that with everyone on this line and your help, we can be number one ranked as a diet, health, and beauty site in the world. And what does that mean for all of us? A lot of money, of course. How are we going to do it? Minerva Place is an online community. We provide a lot of free but very, very valuable information about weight loss, about diet, about beauty, about health. When you look at our website, what you see is something that's very vogue. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of both written content and video content all about diet, health, and beauty. Very rich in, in all the content that is on this website. And content rules the web. Everything that we're putting together in terms of content is dazzling and it's all about living smart and living beautiful this is a destination that people will want to go every single day because every single day there's new content there's new information there's new inter entertainment and they want to see what's there now this is a big task and it takes a lot of writers to put together a, a premier destination as it is, is here with Minerva Place so we have star writers that are joining the team every single day Names that you recognize, people that write for major magazines, uh, people that you see on TV, they're writers for Minerva Place. As a matter of fact, right now, our writing team is up to 75 writers producing content for our launch coming up in the first quarter. And a lot of these writers are just exceptional at what they do and very well known, very famous. When someone comes to MinervaPlace.com for the first time, they're going to have uh, information that they're going to see right away where they can watch a video they can participate in a weight loss contest and for the best weight loss story they can actually win up to ten thousand dollars now if you notice on this screenshot what's happening is when someone comes to Minerva Place for the very first time the website is actually shaded out but the video is very profound and right there and the whole idea is someone's going to watch the video now this video is a full-length video it's all about losing weight and if you watch it you will lose weight it's a state-of-the-art management plan it's been devised by a very famous doctor an MD with two PhDs you keep in mind on the internet today we're giving this away for free and other people they're selling weight loss books and DVDs and they're selling them for for big dollars so this is a major giveaway that we are providing on MinervaPlace.com. The only thing that we're asking for is a name and an email. A name and an email for a weight loss program you're guaranteed to lose weight with. A doctor recommended diet and health weight loss program. That email for all of us, you and I, that email is pure gold. Now we know that this type of video production works because our chief marketing officer, who I'm going to introduce you to in just a minute, he was a key player in launching a lot of successful companies uh, in the diet vertical over the last 30 years. Award-winning writers, top Hollywood talent are producing this production right now as we speak. So monetizing, monetizing our community, this is really important. This is where we really become unique on the internet. Our primary target is women 24 to 49, although we have something for everyone. There's a strong appeal for men as well. But there's a reason for this target, target demographic, and it's called the power of the purse. Many of you have heard that expression, but the advertisers, the major advertisers that are spending the big dollars for advertising on the Internet, this is the demographic that they want to reach, and this is the demographic that they pay the most money to reach, and this is the demographic that Minerva Place is being built around. And, of course, those advertising dollars, where are they going? They're being shared with you. When you look at our profit centers, we have display advertising, just like anybody else, just like WebMD, for example. That display advertising is very, very profitable for us. We have CPA advertising, cost per acquisition networks, also very, very profitable as well. We have also our private label products. We have also our micro stores. We have also our, our affiliate uh, member model, which we're introducing you to tonight, and we have our premium membership. So we have multiple revenue centers, uh, many more revenue centers than the typical publisher would see on the internet. We also drive additional revenues. As a matter of fact, our ad space on our daily newsletter sells for a much higher rate than it does even on our website. And we'll be distributing this newsletter to millions very, very quickly. 
Once you become a premier member of Minerva Place, you're given your own personal Minerva Place online community. This is a replicated website. We do this so that we can track all the transactions that are taking place to your website and pay cash rewards. We make it real easy for our members to drive traffic and eyeballs. See, traffic is the currency of the internet. And we make it easy because all the social media social media tools are integrated into our website. With the click of a mouse, you can send an article, a very powerful, compelling article about diet, health, beauty, family, relationships to 50, 70, 100 people. And remember, because we're capturing these email addresses, when we're when we're capturing email addresses at the beginning of the video production, we are consistently marketing back to those people in your behalf. We're like a bulldog, but we're very gentle with people when we market. We're not expecting them to opt out. We're just looking for them to transact with us either on a product, membership, many different options for them, ebooks, healthy cooking, you name it. But it gets even better because our members can also opt to have their own personal micro store. This is a micro store that populates, again, with products based in diet, health, and beauty. These products, when someone populates a micro store, they earn a higher percentage of commission cash rewards back for having the micro store. We're managing the micro store. We're managing the merchant account. We're man managing the product. We're managing everything associated with that. We're simply paying you a higher commission on the products that are sold through the micro store. So it's really a win-win. It's the first and only business model that lets you earn income very naturally. You're targeting people that you know both inside the industry and outside the industry. This is a very non-confrontational model. You're not selling something to anyone. You're simply sharing content, sharing articles, sharing videos about diet, health, and beauty. When someone comes back to the website, what they're going to do is they're going to read that article. But guess what? Those articles are sometimes eight, ten pages long. Some of those art articles are written by, by our doctors. But every single page through that article has products, products that are related to the content that people are reading about in the article. Many of these people will be purchasing products. Many of these people will be purchasing ebooks. Many of these purchases will be DVDs. All of these commissionable back to our members. And you're going to feel real good about participating in Minerva Place because you're going to know that a percent of every new annual member fee, which is only $19.95 a year, you're going to know a percent is going to help fight childhood obesity. That's our cause. It's our mission. So membership translates to profits for everyone. And what you're seeing is a business model that never sleeps. We're upselling products. We're selling products, we're converting visitors, we're upselling members to elite membership, we're upselling members to micro stores. We're doing this 24-7 on your behalf. We expect some very rapid growth with this business model. Uh, we expect to see about 7 million unique visitors monthly to our community in our first 12 months. And we expect to see about our volumes hit right around 8% of what WebMD sees today. Pretty significant, although you can see we're not being overly aggressive with our projections. We're being very conservative. Our newsletter will be delivered to just under 6 million people daily and will be ranked number four in the top 10 health related sites in our first year. In our second year, by the 24th month, we'll be up around 28 million unique visitors. We'll be at about 32 percent of the volume that WebMD does today. Keep in mind WebMD will generate close to three quarters of a billion dollars this year. We'll be ranked number two or number three in the top ten health-related sites. We're driving three times the revenue that these sites do. We also support Minerva Place with key patents, ten countries that we have patents in. And we have a very major international expansion plan that is going to be very aggressive and very quick. See, remember, one of the challenges that we faced is that we have to face compliance approvals uh, when you're a product-driven company. Here, what we do when we go into a country is we simply adopt the products in that country. There is no approval process whatsoever. Once our business model is approved, we're up and running. We've chosen the best law firm in the country to support our foundation and help guide us uh, through this industry. Jones Waldo has been in business since 1875. They're guiding us in regulatory compliance, international law. They're the best of the best. And our objective is to become the number one premier online destination for diet, health, and beauty in 36 months. We see in our forecast passing companies like Nutrisystem and Southbeef Diet in our first four months. 
we think we're going to be attracting more than a million unique visitors by month six. And we see 5,000 people a day downloading our mobile platforms for iPhone, iPad, Android, and BlackBerry. Now this is a big project, as you can see. This is a major undertaking. It's not something that's easy to accomplish whatsoever. It's a, it's a, it's a big project. But we've got a great team, what we call the dream team. There's 180 years of experience coming in behind this project in a major way. And I mean 180 years of experience in many different industries, e-commerce, publishing, network marketing. Uh, the co-founders of Minerva Place have been distributors starting from the ground up. They've owned companies in this industry. They've been master distributors for major companies in this industry, they've been consultants to this, to this industry. We're, we're, we're very much committed to the innovation that you're seeing taking place here. We love the industry, but we know that it's time for innovation. The visionary behind Minerva Place is a man by the name of Peter Bailoff. He's our chief marketing officer and a co-founder here at Minerva Place. Brilliant man. You can see this is a very innovative concept. And a, it takes a brilliant mind to create that type of innovation. And this is Peter Bailoff. He has led some of the marketing efforts uh, for some of our country's largest corporations. Very, very successful. He holds, in our industry alone, uh, numerous records. He's helped launch six companies in our industry that realized over a hundred million dollars in, uh, in revenue in, inside of their first 24 months. And he's also sold a lot of screenplays. He's produced six. He's won the very prestigious Norman Lear Award. Peter is putting together all of the productions, our diet videos, our pre-enrollment videos, our business opportunity videos. He's developing and designing MinervaPlace.com. Uh, this man is going at it for all of us 24-7, no doubt about it. John Gustin, our Chief Executive Officer, uh, is being in the industry now for 28 years, launching one of the fastest growth companies ever in our country, United Sciences of America, and moving on from there to lead other companies to just tremendous sales in the industry and consulting to the biggest brands in our industry over this period of time as well. He also owns intellectual property and patents uh, surrounding in the, in the diet, health, and, and uh, beauty industries. Jimmy Cossert. Jimmy is a co-founder, our senior vice president of sales, and as I always say, you can't pick up a, a periodical or, or, or a magazine in our industry of any type without reading about Jimmy Cossert. He's one of a handful of people in this industry that have done what he's accomplished. People love him. Uh, he is probably the best community builder in our industry. Uh, he has built an organization that's done close to three quarters of a billion dollars worldwide. Uh, with over 200,000 people. And you don't do that unless you're a great leader and people absolutely love you and want to be with you. Larry Thompson's an advisor to our company. Larry, uh, the Wall Street Journal calls Larry uh, the architect of wealth building. He's a co-founder of Herbalife along with Mark Hughes, which is a $3 billion company today. Ted Charkchucks, our chief operating officer. Ted uh, has built very large organizations, again, from the ground up as well, and he's done it internationally. So he's very involved in the international expansion of our company as well. And then myself, 20 years now in network marketing, I love the industry, started from the ground up, uh, ended up having my own company for several years, but uh, came from a totally different uh, industry where I had hundreds of employees uh, serving the, the big three in, in uh, Detroit. Big transition for me, but really enjoyed it. Our staff, Patrick Ferlanzo. Uh, Patrick is one of these guys that, that uh, well, when you and I were watching cartoons, he was programming software. Let me put it that way. And by the time Patrick was in junior high school, uh, he was buying and selling domains. By the time he hit his 20th birthday, he had already made his first fortune on the internet. He's someone who, who marketers, uh, direct marketers, uh, manufacturers of products, uh, they just, they, they are clamoring for this person to come in and help them sell on the internet. He understands every possible strategy tactic for selling product on the internet. Split testing hundreds of different ways to sell one product. So as people are coming to your website, they're reading articles and products are being displayed. Who's behind that? Patrick's behind that. Patrick's behind that managing those products, managing the ad campaigns, managing what people see, what they read, and the buying process that takes place on the website along with his team. And he has a very large team coming together to support that effort. Mike Lansbury, uh, you might recognize the Lansbury name, Angela Lansbury, for example. He's our editor-in-chief, and uh, Mike is 20 years uh, with the big networks, the big studio networks, uh, NBC, Universal, Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, he also uh, was one of the original architects for Fox Broadcasting. He had the complete oversight of the writing staffs and all the programming content 
uh, that took place as well. All the content, everything that we're talking about on MinervaPlace.com is being overseen by Mike. And he's organized 75 writers that are providing content so far. He'll probably have a couple hundred by the time that we actually launch in the first quarter. There's a lot of content being written every single day in preparation. And then, of course, new content every day once we launch. So Mike has a very big job, but he's up to the task and has done it very successfully in the past. Lonnie Cover brings IBM to Minerva Place. Uh, he's our chief technical officer, uh, 15 years in the IT field. Uh, he really, it, for Lonnie, it's all about precision. Everything's about precision and making sure that everything we do here at Minerva Place, uh, as far as your experience with Minerva Place and what happens, your experience is without flaw. And just recently coming on board, in a press release that we just issued here just recently, NFL star Mark Wilson uh, drafted by the Minerva team. You probably recognize the name, but uh, Mark is someone that uh, came in, was an early investor in MinervaPlace.com. We got to know him, and we realized uh, his background in finance, and uh, his, he has a, a Bachelor of Science in Economics from Brigham Young University and his Executive Master's of Business Administration from the University of Washington, and he built a very successful business uh, generating hundreds of millions of dollars and uh, was the perfect chief financial officer for our company. Uh, so Mark has joined us, and of course, uh, you may recognize the name because uh, he played with uh, the Raiders during their Super Bowl years in the 80s, and uh, also was uh, one of the top five scholar athletes in the nation during his college years. And he's brought that, just that, that, uh, that competitiveness, that, that drive to succeed, he's brought that here to Minerva Place. And, and you can see here in the article, he quotes, he says, being part of Minerva feels a lot like I remember it being felt on those Raider Super Bowl teams. And uh, so we're just having a great time, and it's great to have him on board as well. So you can see we have built uh, what we call the dream team. This is a team that knows how to execute, knows how to build major corporations. Uh, trust me, we, are, we have a goal, and, and that is to build a billion-dollar brand. And we want to do it with you. So what's our next step? Our next step is we intend to ramp up without any delay. This month, we're going to launch our pre-enrollment campaign. And we believe that we're going to build in our database 100,000 or more registrants. Now, this is going to be free for people to come in to preview. As a matter of fact, our pre-enrollment video is being completed right now as we all speak. We'll most likely be ready here in the next day or two, along with the pre-enrollment website this month being completed. And it will all come together and all become live. We're going to provide that free to everyone that wants to participate in the pre-enrollment phase of MinervaPlace.com. And we think that this is going to be just an incredible time for all of us as we begin to share the opportunity, spread the word that there's going to be an opportunity to become an affiliate and earn cash rewards through our compensation structure, through the traffic that's being driven to Minerva Place. And uh, we estimate about 5% of the people that pre-enroll with us will actually become paying members, product purchasing, purchasing ebooks, and so forth through our community, and they will be driving traffic. So you can see this is one smart business model. We're very pleased to be able to share it with you here this evening to give you kind of an early preview, a sneak preview of where we're going. Uh, we will be making announcements as we launch the pre-enrollment, officially going to pre-enrollment here in the month of November, uh, making sure that uh, you have your pre-enrollment website so you can share that, all the sharing tools, all the social media tools. It will become very viral. Uh, when you use this website. The video production is incredible. Unlike anything that you've seen, along with the website, very simple to share. Uh, all the uh, tools that are needed to share it uh, to the masses are built right into the website. And so we're very pleased with how that's coming and we're very pleased to be able to provide that here this month as well. The next event that we're going to do, watch your email and please check back with the person that introduced you here this evening. We have a webinar 12 noon Saturday, this coming Saturday, that's 12 noon Eastern time. We'll be sending out the details for that broadcast, and we hope to have you here. And uh, we look forward to uh, sharing this experience with everyone here. I want to thank you for being here tonight. Get back to the person that invited you here this evening. Have a spectacular evening, and we'll hope to hear you on Saturday. Good night, everyone.